Hey guys, and welcome to another Hearthstone. If you remember last episode, we were uh, playing in the arena here and we ended up losing. And our deck is kind of a low-end deck. It's kind of a mix between a beast deck and, you know, we also have some, uh, some secrets in here and some traps. Well, traps are secrets too. So let's go ahead and hop in and see if we have better luck with our second match. Let the hunt begin. Okay, so it looks like we're going second. And these two cards I definitely want to keep in my hand, but I'm not going to be playing them on this, the second turn. I might play my snipe, but I probably will save that for a little bit later as well. But let's go ahead and see if we can get something... Mm, that's not really going to help either. I have a specific reason for this card, too. Well, let's see what we draw into. Unfortunately, I don't have any one drops, so we'll just go ahead and end our turn here. Which is what he did his first turn anyway. Now, the nice thing is, is if I do get an Unleash the Hounds... Or, no, I do have an Unleashed Sounds. If I do get a Buzzard, it's really good against Pally decks, especially Pallies that use their um, their hero ability quite a bit. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with a Snipe, or with a um, Steady Shot. Now, next turn, I'm going to go ahead and summon a Companion out, and... Hope, hope it's a taunt, but we'll see. There really is no bad cards when it comes to uh, the animal companions. Here's one that's uh, really, really nice to have in a deck. Because you can basically make a copy of any one of your minions or one of his. So let's throw out our animal companion. So it's not quite the one that I was hoping for. But, if he goes and attacks it with his panther, he he is going to kill it. So, or kill his panther too. So we just have to see. That's actually a pretty nice card. Now I'm hoping that I can get a buzzard. If I can get a buzzard in with this hyena then that'll help quite a bit um, and I think this time I'm just gonna summon the boars and at this point I do want to play my mana crystal and I'm gonna put out snipe so let's go ahead and attack with this guy here to at least knock him down just a little bit he only has one attack so we're going to be able to get quite a few uh, before we really have to worry about it too much. So that's going to take out that creature. So the snipe kind of paid for itself. And at this point it's one of his and one of mine. So, we're not doing too bad. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. I have five mana. So I could very easily... Kill his off if I throw out... My deadly shot. But he's not really doing a lot of damage. So let's throw out... Our panther here. We'll go ahead and hit him with a steady shot. Do a little bit of damage back to him. And we'll take down his taunt just a little bit. Let's see what he plays. Now the nice thing is if he plays something big then what I can do is I can take out his taunt with my two minions and then throw out the deadly shot. What does that do? 
Hmm. I don't know that I want that sitting on the board. Not on my watch. There we go. So let's go ahead and... We have six mana too. Let's throw out our buzzard. We throw out our hyena. And that's going to give us a card. And then we're going to throw out our hounds. And that's going to give us a whole bunch of cards. He also probably doesn't like it. Well played. Thanks. So now, we can go ahead and take out that shield. And let's go ahead and bump him down. Go ahead and kill off that. Let's see here. I can take out this guy here. And then I'll take my Hound and do a little bit more damage there. And that whole time I'm buffing up my Hyena. And we have a lot of cards to play now. Your magic shall not save you. I had a feeling he might have done that. That's kind of one of the downsides of if um, if they have a, a silence, which is why I like to play with some silences, at least in my deck. Let me think. Now he's still at a big disadvantage because I'll still be able to take out all of his cards. And then I think next turn I'll have seven, so I'll be able to pull out my grizzly, I wonder. Uh, a raptor, which will get me two more cards. And then, and then I could put out a snipe too. So that way, the next card that he tries to pull out is, um, that's what I was hoping he wasn't going to do. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and pull out a taunt. And... Let's hope this destroys his 4-3 and not the 1-1. One, one. That's perfect. Your magic shall not save you. Well, not the, the best thing, but hey, it works. Suck steel. So let's go ahead and take that back out. And we're take out his 1-1. One, one. And now... I can go ahead and attack him for a little bit of damage. I want to get my explosive trap out. The, the downside to the explosive trap is he has to attack my hero, which he won't be able to do as long as I have a taunt on the board. None. Well... That kind of takes care of that then, doesn't it? He's probably just going to pull out, hit his hero ability. No? Love my hmm. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take him out here so we have those down I could go ahead and I have four mana so I'm gonna swap this back 
And then I'm gonna take... No, I'm gonna do a snipe. I'm gonna stop him from getting something else on the board. Job's done. And then next turn, I should be able to get out my raptor. And then... My explosive trap. See, he really hurt himself there. But he probably didn't know what the what the secret was, so that's kind of why it's a secret. Let's see. Ooh. Let's go ahead and throw out... I have nine mana. So let's throw out... An Ancient Walker. We'll go ahead and silence him so that way he can attack. We'll throw out a... Do I want a Raptor or do I want... Let's do this. And with these, I'm just going to take it straight to him. I have a feeling he's he's either going to take his 1-1 one, one and attack my panther, which is fine. But he's probably going to take his 5-2 and attack me directly, which is going to activate my secret. And basically clear the board. I wasn't expecting him to do that. This will be nice to pull out. So let's go ahead and get a Bloodfen Raptor. And you know what? I'm going to make a copy of his ogre. So now, let's see. You know what? He really can't do much. So let's go ahead and just take it to his face. There's no point in taking out the 1-1 one, because one, as soon as he attacks me... As soon as he attacks me, he's going to do 2 damage to all of his minions. So let's see if he's going to attack me, or if he's just going to leave me alone. Leaving me alone would not be a, a good idea at this point. Just because I have so much damage on the board, I can do 15 damage to him this coming turn. He really doesn't want to attack me. Well, let's go ahead and get this out. We'll go ahead and do more damage to him. So if he does attack me directly, he's going to lose his... Squire there. That was a good card to play. Now he still has to take out my taunt before he can actually do anything. Unfortunately, he doesn't have enough damage. That's the game. At that point, he can't really do anything. I hit him with a steady shot, and he's done. A 
was kind of waiting for that. So there you go. We won with our uh, hunter deck here. We get plus one to our key, and we still have two losses that we can go through. I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, I will see you guys later.